Hello and welcome to uh, version 0.0.1.0, little spotlight of nuclear craft. Nothing much happened in this version actually, it was just sort of the first version of the sort of 0.0.1 uh, series. Um, there's basically a load of bug fixes. Uh, the first bug fixed was that there was a lot of lag caused by machines not updating. And that was tr uh, attempted to be fixed a couple of versions ago, but it's finally actually been fixed. So now machines don't lag as much, which is good. What happens? Uh, the, also, oh yeah, there's another bug that was fixed with the uh, reaction generator. Uh, this thing, for some reason, used to just like just build up and build up power. So if we just get a few pieces of stuff here, let's get some universal reactor. This thing used to just um, the power used to just rise and rise and rise very very slowly, but very very uh, it just used to the, the amount of power that it produced in tip per tick just increased, and that meant that this thing used to fill up. Um, although the power per tick was increased very slowly because it was just increasing over time, it was just building exponentially, and um, eventually you were creating like 50,000 RF per tick, and it was just crazy. But now that's been fixed, and now that it always produces 500 RF per tick, you can just stick, you know, something next to it like this, and there we go. You can get uh, 500 RF per tick out of this stuff. It's definitely not the best way to use this fuel. It's the least efficient way. Um, definitely better to use a fission reactor, but, and you also need this uh, universal reactor as well. So that's uh, a bug fix there for the reaction generator. Uh, what else happened? Um, oh yeah, some of the machines were not updating properly, the energy levels weren't updating. So for example, if we get rid of this piece of energy cable here, we get ourselves, uh, say, a piece of uranium. Uh, this thing used to not update very well, the energy level, but now it does, which is good. So we've got the energy levels are updating properly. Um, there's a couple changes to recipes. Uh, the Paxil was fixed. The Paxil used to not break uh, some sort of modded woods and modded stone properly. Uh, so that's been fixed. It now mines everything very, very quickly, uh, like a Paxil should. Um, now the main thing about 1.0 was that it started to add some uh, stuff with the fusion reactor. It's the first release where the fusion reactor uh, model was seen. Uh, it had no had no GUI, um, so I'm not going to go into the GUI yet. That's next episode. Um, this is basically all that was added. It was just you know showing what what it will look like, uh, and this was all it was. You couldn't really do much with it, and you could also walk through it as well. It was just the model was added. Uh, but one thing that was added, or at least a load of things that were added, were these fluid cells. Uh, so empty fluid cell, water cells, all these different cells were added, and also into the game, uh, lithium and boron were added. So you can find lithium ore and boron ore, pretty rarely in the world, they're about as rare as say, uh, well, a bit more, probably as rare as lapis maybe, maybe a bit more common than that, um, they may become rarer in later versions, and basically these could just be crushed up like you know any other ore, into dust and into ingots, uh, then what you can do is you can put this into the isotope separator, uh, so lithium uh, gets turned into uh, lithium-6 and lithium-7, two isotopes of lithium, and boron gets turned into boron-10 and boron-11. And these can be used to make these cells down here, which will be used uh, in the fusion reactor. So those are just some fuels for the fusion reactor. So there we go. Um, yep. So that's that. And that's pretty much uh, all that was added, really, um, except for a load of bug fixes. There's some pretty important bug fixes, but that was pretty much all that was added. Uh, next version, 0.1.1, started adding some uh, actual functionality to the fusion reactor. The next couple versions um, are all going to be about the fusion reactor, probably, um, and machines surrounding the fusion reactor. Because hopefully I want this to be a pretty big part of the mod. Uh, the fusion reactor was a sort of the first stage, uh, sort of main stage of the mod. The fusion reactor is the next one. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep, keep going like that and, you know, sort of go through the sort of modern technology and sort of rise into some crazy physics-y stuff uh, later on in the mod. So there we go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.